Let's see. I'm Pat Manzala. My maiden name was Voss. I was born before, at the time of the World War. Um, I was about maybe 13, somewhere in that area. Okay, there was one evening we were, my mother and we were all sitting around and we were listening to the radio and we heard a flashback, something about the war. Oh, okay. Hello? Oh, hi, Mrs. Jackson. I'm good. Okay. Mom, Mrs. Jackson is on the phone. Thanks, honey. Well, hi, Mrs. Jackson. How are you? Oh, no, that's fine. Oh, oh, no. Well, that's tragic. Oh, okay. Well, okay, thank you. Okay, you have a good night, too. Bye. Hitler hasn't stood down and he's sending all the men to war. Even father. Will he be back soon? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> so do you remember any specific events during the war? Well, not many, but I do remember one that after we listened to the radio, we saw a newspaper about May 29, 1943, and Rosie, Rosie Riveter was part of it. I can't believe it's true. I heard about this on the radio. I can't believe it. What? All of the women have to go back to work in the factories now because the men are at war. But we're not educated enough for that. Well, according to Rosie the Riveter, yes, we can. Well, anyway, I didn't know much except what we saw in the newspaper. And then after that, the radio kept talking about Rosie the Riveter and how she changed the world about women and how women became the work and do things to help out. Patsy, I'm home. How was work? Oh, honey, it was bad. The men, they just don't treat us like we're as important as they are. But we're just as equal to them. They don't see it. One day we'll make them see. I refuse to be treated this way. I'll change the world one day. I hope you do, honey. Well, I always remembered counting on my mom. She was number one in my life. She always was my support. And I always remembered my mom having to go to um, some place to get these money bonds that they were called. It meant that we could get money even though if we didn't work. All right, I have my bonds ready. Why do you always have those? And so when the war, war is over, we're not dirt broke. I hope that even after the war's over, women will still be able to work. Me too. And then one day, when we were listening to the radio, we had heard that the radio was on the radio, that the war was over, and we all cheered. At 2.41 a.m. Oh my God! The war is over! The war is over! Oh my God! Hello? Why, yes, this is she. What? 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 No! No! Of all German land, sea, and air forces. And then, and then I remembered a lot of people in my my family members, moms, dads, aunts, uncles. They had all died during the World War, and it was a sad, sad moment. Mom! Mom, I'm home! Mom? What? No, I, get away from me! I don't want that! No! No, get away. <laughs> get away from me. Not drink. Get away! And one day when I was home, I realized my mom had gone, just gone. 
never saw her again. She had just left. I was sad. I didn't know what to do. I was 18. I had to go on my own. It's hard. It was long, lonely. It was sad. I didn't know what was happening to me. I didn't know if I wanted to live or die. But then one day I saw, on May 29th, 1943, I saw Rosie Riveter talking about how she made the women be able to support themselves and life could go on forever and ever and it would change our life and it did it changed our life for women to work and freedom Hi, I'm Jen, I'm Pat Manzella. You might have to clear that. I'm sorry. I'll get it. <laughs> Sit down. Hey. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. No, you and then you go. So, Debbie, what was it like playing a drunk woman? Oh, well, you know, I don't drink, so it was really, it was a stretch for me. Jenna, give me some more wine! Just, what was it like playing like a main character in this and like going in flashbacks and, what was it like portraying a character whose mom was an alcoholic and left and too many retakes? But what, did you feel any emotion? Did you a lot relate? Of did you? Just give me some more wine! Oh, Jen. <laughs>